Oh god, I remember this photo. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh my god. Oh. Uh, hi. <laughs> I was just looking over my amazing photos I've taken over the past years. Uh, I mean, you're welcome to look at them with me if you want. Yeah? Okay. Let's get started then. Alright, so I just wanted to start with like a little backstory of how I started with photography. Um, back in, I think it was 2016 when I started college, it was, uh, I didn't, I didn't start out wanting to do photography per se. It was, uh, I wanted to do graphic design and one of the electives was photography. And <laughs> throughout the semesters, I began to realize that, or not realize, but I, I began to see that uh, graphic design's cool. Like it's, I still do graphic design like on the side, but uh, it, with photography, you get to experience a lot more. So it's like with graphic design, you're kind of just in the office all day, office. Like you don't really get to go out much unless you're like at a coffee shop and you're like on your laptop uh, With photography you can literally take your camera anywhere over the years uh, Back in PA I used to have like a lot of friends that were very creative and I would and I would use my photography to showcase that creativity and trying to help out those other artists. It's uh, like uh, most of my friends in, back in PA, they were either like uh, jugglers, uh, painters, uh, some made jewelry. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to get those types of people around me here in Florida. Um, I just met some really cool photographers the other day. Uh, with photography, it, it it really made me look at the world a different way. You know, it's like some some people might go by this flower, by example, and just just look at it. Oh, cool, it's a flower. And for me, it was for for just starting out, shooting, uh, going out and taking photos. Uh, was very very hard for me like I was very reserved I used to just like sit at home and do nothing all day it was uh, photography for me was like an outlet to express myself and uh, doing photos every single day I, I pushed myself to do that so that I can be more open when I meet new people Getting out of that comfort zone was very hard, and it took a very long time for me to get out of it. Uh, this this photo was just like an early stage of that, of that, you know, being more expressive. Uh, you can even see this watermark right here. I was so afraid of people stealing my photos <laughs> until I, you know, went on Instagram and saw that no one even puts a watermark on their photos. Uh, moving on. Back in PA, uh, specifically Harrisburg, there was this uh, island called City Island where they would have events like uh, like festivals, uh, mostly baseball games. Uh, th there was a beautiful view of the whole city, as you can see here. Um, you just uh, it's like right off the water. And uh, you can just go up, there's no restriction or anything, you can just go up and take a photo. This was about uh, 10, 11 at night. I, I, I was there like the whole day, I was there from like 2 until like 11. I was waiting for the sun to go down and actually take good photos. Uh, this was mostly just practice with nighttime. What I like about this photo is like all the color. This bridge on the right here, and the the walking bridge right over here, the the lights are so bright and colorful, 
and it's not always blue like the like on certain days you'd have like reds you'd have purples you have greens you have uh, yellows and on like certain holidays like at Christmas it'd be red white and uh, red white and green uh, uh, Valentine's Day would be pink it, it's it's a really cool area and the one thing I like most about the uh, the city is is so colorful you can see you can especially see from like the the reflections off of the water you can see like all the colors just like blending together oh and <laughs> I didn't notice this uh, in camera, but uh, if you zoom in real, real, real tight, you can actually see. I from what I gathered, and from what I like, I looked online to see what uh, planets or like stars were in my area at the night. And from what I could tell, this is Mars, and I, I, it's either Mars or. Um, some type of red star i don't know but it, it was it was weird because i thought i thought it was like a plane at first but i was like if it was a plane it'd be it'd be a streak it'd be more of a streak because this was a long shutter speed this was like maybe two to three seconds uh the it, if it was a plane it would have moved quite significantly between those two to three seconds so i'm pretty sure this is mars or maybe Venus, I don't know. I'm not an astrolog astrologist, astronomer, astrologist. I'm not more, I'm not, you know. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, so fast forward, maybe uh, summer of that year, which was 20, it was 2018, yeah. 20, oh, 2018, 2019. So uh, this was not the first portrait I've ever taken. This was just like one of the, the cooler, more expressive ones that I've ever taken. Uh, before then it was just like, hey, pose and I'll take a picture of you. Here is where I like, uh, I began doing like themes with like smoke bombs, uh, with Halloween. Uh, during that time it was uh, just like, you know, put on a costume and we'll do a photo shoot. Uh, here is one of my friends from PA. She's holding a smoke bomb, and I think it really goes well with like the red and uh, the red uh, prop she's wearing. Th this was just like a it was like a test shot, really. It was see how the smoke bombs react. These were different types of smoke bombs that I've never used before. Uh, this one is my favorite. This was uh. This was on a railroad, uh, like in the middle of a town. It was like there was houses on that side. There was more houses on this side, and we were just in the middle of the town, just taking photos with smoke bombs. Uh, what I really like about this photo is how, how like you can see her face, like right here. Like it's it's like the center of the photo. Uh, it's, Clear as far as I can tell. It's in focus as far as I can tell. But uh, the the way the smoke just like surrounded her face and like the hat, the scarecrow hat, well, it, it was like a perfect shot. <laughs> uh, next one. Oh, <laughs> this was uh, another Halloween shoot I did with her. And another another person you'll see in the next photo. Uh, this this uh, photo shoot was particularly hard because we didn't have many props. It was uh, it was you know she wore the shirt that was that's her shirt, but the hat the hat I had to Photoshop in the hat <laughs> I spent so long trying to find a hat that was in that orientation, uh, and like it, it was. Like, I literally went through 10,000 photos on Shutterstock trying to find the right photo. Th this uh, this cauldron was uh, real. The smoke was actually real. She uh, she had a vape, and she just blew into the into the cauldron, and it created a really cool effect. 
th- this was the other this was the other model I was telling you about. Uh, she had a really cool like uh, steampunk uh, vibe going on with with uh, I had I gave her this uh, book that I got from uh, Michaels. I really like the aesthetic of the mask with uh, with how the clothes looked and the tattoos actually helped really co- uh, really uh, what re- that the tattoos actually helped pretty well too. Uh, this is one of my buddies, uh, we were just messing around one night, we said, like, let's go to Walmart and get a costume, and just do a photo shoot randomly. Uh, he had, uh, the smoke was created with, with, uh, with another vape. Uh, the, I just, uh, photoshopped in, like, a couple of glowing eyes to add some effect to it. Uh, we had these... Uh, like uh, LED candles we put them behind the mask and it it looks cool I like the I like the the shine off of the mask how how glowy it is fast forward a couple of uh, weeks after I think it was after the holidays me and uh, this was the model from before this one she she's a she's very good at posing this uh, she, uh, her one of her talents is uh, hooping, and I really wanted to. Uh, the The idea behind this photo was, uh, you know, illuminating her around the around the hoop to make it look like you know, hooping is what she does. Like it surrounds surrounds her life, and it's like it's what she does to get away, you know. We all, we all have uh, hobbies and things we like to do to get away from life, all the stress. Um, and I really wanted to show that in this photo right here. The 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 hoop actually lights up, but uh, we found that it was too bright for what I was looking for. So I actually brought uh, fairy lights with me and uh, we just wrapped it around the hoop. And we found that it actually works pretty well. This was uh, one of the best photos, I think, from that shoot that I've taken. Uh, fast forward a couple more weeks, and we uh, had some some leaf from some falling leaves on the ground. Uh, I picked one up, and I just shot right through it. <laughs> um, I really like uh, the hate the. Uh, the blurry effect around the face uh, it's not totally in focus but it it's still focused enough to to see right through it it's not one of my favorite photos but i still like the creative aspect of it uh this was uh one of the events that happened at city island it was uh what was it called give me one second <laughs> it was called capona this was uh, during Capona 2019. Uh, I forget what this band's name was, um, but the this this band like I really liked. Uh, it was like an older gentleman band. Uh, I really liked the aesthetic of the of the guitar, uh, like the background with like the American flag. Uh, the 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 rust the rusty look that this photo gives which is like my favorite part of this photo from whenever I moved till now was a big transition with how I took photos like uh, until recently I didn't have anyone to to pose to uh, you know give me creative ideas with how I want the photos to turn out it was all based on just me and me alone and my camera there was days where i just like mindlessly took photos and i would have like 300 photos at the end of the day and i would just try to pick out all of the photos that i thought looked good and looked at them and see if i could make them better i love animals and it's it's hard for me to look at an animal that's not able to be free like to a certain extent we're 
we're able to just do whatever we want. You know, we're able to go outside, do, you know, just travel and stuff like that. Animals in cages, they don't get to do that in, like often. Like these birds, they're meant to be out in nature and just, you know, live life. When I, when I see a, a photo like this, it sort of makes me sad. <laughs> And I wanted to convey that, and it's uh, I uh, this this was taken at Sunken Gardens, and I asked uh, the employees there, uh, and and uh, they said that these animals are very well taken care of. They're most of them are endangered, so we try our best to take care of them. Which I like. I, I definitely respect people that that go out of their way to take care of animals like that. <laughs> All right, moving on. Um, uh, another photo. <laughs> this this is probably my favorite photo I've ever taken in Florida so far. Uh, other than another one, I'm gonna show you guys later. It, it's. Uh, just another pair of parrots. Pair, pair, pair of parrots. <laughs> what I love about this photo is it it shows so much emotion. I don't know if it's just because of the eyes or anything, but they do look tired. But what I like about this photo particularly is the just the amount of color there is despite the emotion that it conveys. Like the the feathers are like bright red, yellow, blue. But the but the for me the the facial expression is what sells this photo. Even though that the birds just naturally look like that, they still to me they still look like they're in. I don't want to say despair because they're not. They don't. They're not in trouble. They're not like. They just they just look like they could have a better life. You know. Uh, fast forward a couple of weeks. That this photo was probably my favorite nature photo. Uh, you know, this was taken in uh, Sunset Beach. It's about like 45 minutes from Tampa, something like that. And uh, right around su Sunset, Sunset Beach, uh, I there was a bunch of people surrounding like the shore taking photos. Like there was just like a line, a whole line of like 30 people just taking the same photo I was like really I can do better than that come on and it's like I don't want I don't want I don't want the same photo as everyone else you know what I mean so I, I start to look around and like the sun's going down so I'm like really low on time and uh, like I, I, I see this like patch of just grass like really tall grass and I'm like this will look pretty cool and uh, and I try to shoot it so that the sun isn't too overexposed, so you can see the sky. I hate overexposed skies. Like, I always try to make sure the sky is somewhat visible, because otherwise it just looks like a backdrop. What I really wanted was, like, uh, getting an action of the bird you know, just doing what it would normally do in nature, you know, like how, like cleaning itself is obviously something it would do in nature. So it, it was perfect. I really like the composition. Uh, like I said, I wish it was, you know, it was a little bit more sharp, but you know, you live and you learn. I might go back one of these days and take you guys along with me to see, uh, if we can take a better shot. All right. Uh, we're going to backtrack. <laughs> Halloween again uh, before I left the uh, PA but before I left PA uh, this was one of uh, my my buddy from uh, from school he he saw that I I got this uh, rave mask off of uh, Amazon for like I don't know 10 bucks and he saw that in my car the uh, the one day and he he was like that's a cool mask, man. We should do a photo shoot with it. And it was like, I was like, yeah, why didn't I think of that? Like, uh, 
like it was Halloween. It was like it was like the month before Halloween, <laughs> but it was it was like close to that time of year, and I was like, "This is perfect. We we should just you know." So we went out into Harrisburg, you know, late at night, and there was like no one around. It, it was like a ghost town, which was perfect for us, so we could just like do whatever we want. And uh, we just went around with the mask, and we got some pretty cool shots of uh, of my buddy here. I think I have more of them coming up. Yeah, this uh, this one I got the idea of like a purge kind of uh, aspect. Where like th there's just like a random dude with a mask, uh, like sitting right in front of your car. You don't know what he's gonna do, what's gonna happen. I kind of wanted to show that suspense in this photo. Uh, that another photo from that night. I just really like this photo, so I'm gonna show like most of them. Uh, this photo right here. Uh, this was one of the first ones we took. Uh, in Harrisburg, we have like these stoplights in front of the garages, of, in front of the parking garages. So like you stop, pay the ticket, and then you go. Uh, so it was like a low enough stoplight that we could actually like shoot, uh, like shoot next to it. And you know, coincidentally, we found this uh, spider, the spider web, and the spider right in the middle, right in the middle, dude. And it was. And it was like a perfect photo. It, it's like I wanted him in the background, like with the mask lit up, and I wanted the uh, the spider somewhat in focus. I didn't. I don't think I got it exactly in focus, but uh, but it, it, what it it was a really cool aesthetic to the look that I was trying to go for at, with this shoot. Uh, this is just you know, my the first time I got the Mavic Mini. You uh, you guys can see a couple of videos with the. With the mini I shot, uh, the New Year's video was mostly in in a shot with the Mavic Mini. I love this thing, dude. It's probably the best thing I've ever purchased uh, that helped me with photography. It helped me with like videos, which actually it actually like sparked my uh, my interest in making videos, which is uh, what I'm doing right now. For most, for the most part, I'm still doing photography, which I really love. But videography is definitely a whole new uh, aspect of, you know, being creative, and I and I really love it. Uh, let's see, next one. <laughs> uh, so I went downtown Tampa, like, uh, like deep in, like deep in Tampa, and. <laughs> Uh, I was just walking around and I hear this really loud truck coming by and I look back and, and I see this uh, and I see their advertisement which is probably the best thing like best advertisement I've ever seen in my life like we don't know if it's stolen or if that's just you know what they want you to think we never know <laughs> uh, coming near the end here uh, this was this was actually New Year's uh, I took this photo. It was like my version of, uh, where is it? It was like my version of the, of the Harrisburg, the, Har the Harrisburg nightscape. Uh, I like it. I wish I could like, uh, I wish the trees weren't really in the way of the, of the city. It kind of takes away from like the view in my opinion. But I really like the I really like the colors off of the boats, uh, the 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 light streaks. All right, uh, final photo, which is probably my favorite, uh, uh, like touchy feely photo. You know, Th this photo was actually, from what I could tell, like this photo is actually taken very far. Uh, I used the uh, the twenty four to one twenty to take this photo. Um, what I, from what I could see in the camera, I could only see like the the the, the gentleman that's that's riding the boat. It it wasn't till I actually looked on the computer that I noticed this dog, <laughs> this this tiny little puppy, just standing on the oar of of the of the boat, 
I'm like, wow, this is a very cute photo. Like, I actually, I actually really like this photo. I uh, posted it on my Instagram and everyone loved it. Um, but that's about it for photos. Um, I might do another one of these videos, uh, in the near future. You know, maybe I, I could probably do one like every month, you know, trying to, you know, review the photos I post on Instagram. I could probably review that, uh, in a video if you guys would like. If that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments. Uh, please like, share, subscribe for future, uh, notifications. And, uh, I'll see you guys later.